Catholic, the Catechism of the Catholic Church's Teaching on Hell, paragraphs 1033 through 1037. We cannot be united with God unless we freely choose to love Him. But we cannot love God if we sin greatly against Him, against our neighbor, or against ourselves. He who does not uh, love remains in death. Anyone who hates his brother is a murderer, and know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. Our Lord warns us that we shall be separated from him if we fail to meet him the serious needs of the poor and the little ones who are his brethren. To die in mortal sin without repenting and accepting God's merciful love means remaining separated from him forever by our own free choice. The state of definitive self-exclusion from the communion with God and the blessed is called hell. Jesus often speaks of Gehenna, the unquenchable fire reserved for those who at the end of their lives refused to believe and be converted, where, where both body and soul can be lost. Jesus solemnly proclaims that he will send his angels, and they will gather all the evildoers and throw them into the furnace of the fire, and that he will pronounce the condemnation, Depart from me, you accursed, into eternal fire. The teachings of the church affirms the existence of hell and its eternity. Immediately after the death of the souls, those who die in the state of mortal sin descend into hell, where they will suffer the punishments of hell, eternal fire. The chief punishment of hell is eternal separation from God, and whom alone man can possess the life and happiness for which he is was created and for which he longs. The affirmations of sacred scripture and, and the teachings of the church on the subject of hell are called to the responsibility incumbent upon man to make use of his freedom in view of his eternal destiny. They are at the same time an urgent call to conversion. Enter by the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the way is easy that leads to destruction, and those who enter it by it are many. For the gate is narrow and the way is hard that leads to life and those who find it are few. Since we know neither the day nor the hour, we should follow the advice of our Lord and watch constantly, so that when the single course of our earthly life is completed, we may merit to enter with him into the marriage feast and be numbered among the blessed and not like the wicked, slothful servants, be ordered to depart into eternal fire into the outer darkness, where men will weep and gnash their teeth. God predestines no one to go to hell, for this is a willful turning away from God. A mortal sin is necessary and persistent in it until the end. In the Eucharistic liturgy and its daily prayers of her faithful, the Church implores the mercy of God, who does not want any to perish, but all to come to repentance. Father, Accept this offering from your whole family. Grant us your peace in this life. Save us from final damnation and count us among those you have chosen. That is the Catechism of the Catholic Church's teaching on hell. The next, the next topic would be the last judgments and the hope of a new heaven and a new earth. Thank you very much.